Hey there, Gemini. Hope you guys' this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for you guys' highest good at this time. This is for my beautiful sign of Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. Talk about Gemini, please. Unbother. Avoidance. One more. Moving on. So, my gosh, you're clearly moving away. Unbothered. Avoiding someone here. A commitment. Somebody knows that you're avoiding them. Someone could have been avoiding you at one time because they entered in a commitment with somebody here. This person is like amazed how unbothered and how you're not triggered and you're able to just continue moving forward. Not looking back at the past and just continue moving forward. It's overall energy for Gemini. Using your intuition in all aspects of life. So this is about not letting any type of commitment in your life keep you stuck at a crossroads. This is about finding your path and going unapologetically down that path and not letting anybody disrupt that path. And has if you're like me, what, what I like to say is what I like to speak into the universe is like anybody that tries to get in the way of my life purpose, my soul's path, they will be exposed and they will be removed from my path. Whatever way that they need to go, remove them type of energy. So... Somebody knows that they can't keep you stuck at a crossroad. You're moving forward with your life and you're surrendering a connection. Somebody for sure thought they was going to be able to control the narrative. And you're clearly showing them different here. This is like a control freak that's mad that they don't have control over you or the situation. Can't expect the truth from others, but we can expect it from ourselves. That's why you're moving forward here. Somebody wasn't honest with you. It's like this person is trying to figure out how to have like some kind of communication like they want to open up and be honest with you now but are they really being honest it's like this person's still trying to figure out keep you stuck at that crossroads so you don't continue down your path more gemini it's time to step out of the confusion mm -hmm. somebody knows that you're stepping out of the confusion somebody could have been doing some kind of like confusion spells or something to keep you stuck you're trusting your intuition and moving away. Their, tan their time has come. So this person knows that their chance has come. Unity and exchange. So this is somebody that was part of a group. This person thought they was going to receive some kind of payout. Or they might have received something where they thought they was going to. But this is somebody that's part of like a group. It could be like a cult or just some kind of group. Somebody that feels like they have to be around a bunch of people to feel important. So somebody has like been... Click, 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 and I call a bunch of chicken heads talking, trying to, to form some kind of like story so they could try to apply pressure to your life here. These people that were involved, they didn't receive nothing but a big old dumb sticker across their forehead type energy. To feel the other side of each other. So somebody is trying to come back and make it seem like they're on the same page as you now. This is somebody that doesn't like that you're able to just continue moving forward on your path. And like they're angry that you're no longer wanting to see their side of something. You're just moving forward. Like this person's trying to figure out how to get you to reciprocate this energy back again with them. Beautiful scenery awaits you during your journey. That's that journey I was talking about. You're clearly going on the right path for yourself. Somebody tried to stop you. So you've got a lot of beautiful things headed for you. Continue moving forward. And we've got positive, optimistic, and beautiful. Somebody didn't want you to be looked at in this lighting. You continue to stay in this positive, optimistic, beautiful energy. And you're moving forward and you're creating more beautiful things. That's two cards now of beautiful. There's so many beautiful things in store for you. And this person did everything or these people that were involved did anything in their power to try to stop you from that. That's how powerful you are to have a whole group of people try to come up against you. The world of your dreams. So this is about stepping into your beautiful world of your dreams. What you're manifesting for your life here. Somebody wanted, like, there's like a dream killers. These were dream killers that wanted to take your, your, your life. You can't have it. Go get your own. Sorry, guys. Gemini. Somebody wants your forgiveness now. And that was in reverse. So somebody here is trying to, to get you to forgive them and look at them in, in a different lighting now. So you're releasing negative emotions, forgiving the past, and you are free to live a peaceful, harmonious life. So I always say the forgiveness is for you so you can continue moving forward on your path here. 
But this is somebody that was still trying to figure out how to get back into your life by wanting forgiveness. You can forgive somebody and not talk to them ever again here. So the forgiveness is for you so you can move forward. Somebody here knows that you don't have compassion for them. You see the good in others and help them see it in themselves. And that's why this person knows that you don't see good in them. This person did everything in their power to get other people to look at you in a bad lighting. They didn't want you to be looked at in a compassionate way, but you're still being looked at that way. Divine timing. I am patient. I trust the events will unfold at the precise moment they are meant to happen. So that divine timing is a thing. This is about applying the lessons and the things that you're going through in your life and just trusting that everything is falling right into place in your life as it's meant to because we have a series of events that we have to go through to get to this here. So... Sometimes things don't manifest as quickly as they want them to because we've got people in our energy still that, you know, are seeking to destroy us and things. So we're just moving forward and trusting this divine timing here. Meditation. I take time to meditate. When I filter out negative thinking, I attain inner peace. So you guys could be meditating or thinking about meditating, but this is about grounding your energy. Taking time to filter out the negative thinking and, and staying in that, in that internal peace. What needs to be surrendered for Gemini? What needs to be surrendered for Gemini? Surrender stress. So this is about really letting go of this nasty energy that was said about you, sent your way here. Take a few deep breaths. Exhale the tension you build up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So somebody really worked their hardest to try to stress you out, but it's like ultimately all these... These people, these group that was involved, all they did was sign them out, themselves up for stress. Surrender unhealthy relationship. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. So this whole group of people, this could be obviously love connections, friendship groups, family dynamics here. This is about severing ties with all these unhealthy connections here. So... By cutting out all of these low vibing connections, you are stepping more into your high timeline and going towards that beautiful scenery here for yourself. Somebody knows their time is up. I keep saying that too. Time is up. Time is up. So there might have been some kind of time frame when something was meant to take place and it didn't take place. So now you got all these people backtracking like, why didn't it happen? Because it's not going to happen, guys. So go get you some business. Unbothered. Why is that here for Gemini? Scorpio or Scorpio. Somebody could be doing a Scorpio. This is Scorpio's card technically for me, but judgment. Somebody's trying to reconcile with you and there's some kind of judgment call that you've made here. That's why this person is trying to come back because they see you unbothered. Like somebody could be trying to avoid some kind of karma try, by trying to get back into your good graces too. I'm getting time more about unbothered. Somebody trying to hold on to you. Somebody knows you got some kind of wish fulfillment coming in here. This person clearly sees you pulling and in, pouring into yourself, loving yourself, good on your own, manifesting all these beautiful things into your life. This energy did everything they could to try to hold you back because they're a very selfish person. They only care about their wants and needs. This is somebody that wants to try to come back and cry, guilt trip their way. This person is sad because what they tried to do isn't working. It didn't go as planned. So could be past life connections. Could be children involved. See, this person was, they, this whole group, for sure, they for sure thought this was going to work because they thought you were still operating out of your, your old self. And you clearly have shed that old version of yourself. It's not here anymore. So definitely could be some kind of past life connections that followed you into this lifetime that clearly is all about severing ties with these connections and moving forward on your path. Somebody did everything in their power to block you off. Wanted you to be looked at like... They, they, this is someone that if they can't control you, they'll control how other people look at you. They wanted everyone else to be in denial about you as well. So this person's trying to figure out how to come back and present like an offer. But this is a page. This is somebody very childish. This person could try to date, date, ask you on a date, gift you something here. But this is somebody here that is really... This is a very deceptive person that somebody was for sure that they were going to play off of your insecurities and your doubts and your low self-worth, but that's not who you are anymore. Somebody was trying to offer something up on this fool. Like somebody was trying to like, somebody was trying to, to offer you up to get like some kind of magic on you, but it didn't work is what I'm getting to. Somebody wasn't able to get what they wanted here. Like something didn't go as planned. 
Yeah, somebody's stuck because somebody clearly sees that you are very high ranking here. Man, you keeping your silence, you're very high ranked, you're tapped in with your spiritual team here. And somebody didn't realize who you are here. <laughs> well, somebody's now shifting their perspective and seeing you in a whole different light now because they, they definitely see that you're definitely something powerful here. So this is about also shifting your perspective, knowing when to stay silent and not feeding into these altercations, just pulling your energy back and just tapping in here. So somebody's mad that you now look at them differently and this person's trying to figure out how to get you to look at them in a good light again. Somebody sees you in this very independent energy. Somebody clearly sees that you've got these new beginnings coming towards you and somebody didn't want you to be looked at in this, this empress energy here. So you're attracting everything towards you that's rightfully yours and somebody does not like how strong-willed and independent you are. So that was part of the plan too, is standing in your independency. Tell me about avoidance for Gemini. So somebody was avoiding, somebody was trying to get somebody else to avoid you. There's something here about your destiny, this good karma. And somebody's trying to avoid their karma. I keep getting somebody's finances are really about to take a major hit for trying to come for you. Somebody didn't want you to have an authentic connection here. Somebody didn't want you to have generational wealth, this financial freedom. Somebody was avoiding someone because somebody clearly went into another connection and that didn't work out. So somebody's Bad karma is that they went into union with another person and that's like part of their bad karma here. So that's for somebody. Man, somebody is really trying to avoid their karma because you're, this wheel is start, still turning into your favor. You've made changes. You surrendered these connections and now you're you're evolving to your highest timeline. And somebody's trying to avoid... Somebody's trying to get back into your good graces because they think that if they get back into your good graces, well, obviously like this, this finances will... Is they know that this is coming towards you, so they know that you're going to be really flourishing, but there's something about this person not wanting their finances to be depleted, so they feel like if they get into your good graces, like something will ease up on them. This person knows you've got something good coming, and I keep getting that. Six of Wands. Victory, success is yours. So that's why you're, and that's why you're also being called to avoid this energy because you are clearly going towards your victory. Like, success is yours. This person's trying to figure out how to get your attention. Oh man, that just, that is the truth. So the truth and the clarity is here now and somebody's trying to avoid what they did. So somebody knows that you're now walking away, you've got your back turned, you're just out of your feelings, you're just continue going forward, forward on this journey and somebody's trying to come towards you with an apology. Somebody's trying to figure out how to get you back in this connection with them. Somebody was trying to get somebody else to avoid you because somebody was looking at you in a good light and somebody did everything in their power to steer you towards someone else. And I keep getting that somebody went towards something else and that's blowing up in their face. That's part of their bad karma. So this person is definitely finding out what, what they try to do, what they tried to collaborate against you, form this group and try to come up against you. Like they're still in here. They're still hearing that you have good news. Like it's still coming in for you. This person is trying to figure out how to flirt their way back in. Like, you know what I just heard? Somebody's like a baby. Like, somebody's like an amateur an amateur compared to your spiritual ranking. And somebody didn't realize that they were playing on a field that they didn't have no business playing on type of energy. So, tell me about moving on for Gemini. Four swords. Pulling your energy back. Gathering your thoughts. Really healing and just moving forward. So, somebody here knows that you're detaching from them. And somebody did everything in their power to try to, you know, put you on ice, I'll say. Try to, they wanted you not here. Somebody wanted your mental state to be not good. And you moved away from all of that stuff that was meant to, like, tear you down. So, there could be, like, sickness. Somebody wanted your, like, your body to fall apart. Definitely your mental health. But, again, you moved away from that. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody feels like a fool for trying to work against you. And this person clearly sees that you are still going towards your, your best timeline, I call it. Hard at work. Um, you've done a lot of self-improvements, finances. Everything's turning in your favor. And this person knows this. So they're trying to come towards you. Like, this is all about finances with this person. Like, this person is very focused on what you have coming into your life type energy. So they're trying to get a new beginning. Queen of Cups, loving yourself, pouring back into yourself, not giving anyone just access to you anymore. So this person is trying to come in and confess their love to you now because you're moving forward. Trust your intuition. 
See, this person knows that something's over with. And this is somebody that sees that you clearly have moved past things that were meant to destroy you and take you down. All you did was sign yourself up for an ending for trying to come for us. I hope you know that. So, buckle up, buttercup. That's what you got coming for you. Don't get mad. You made your choice. So this is somebody that can't stand that they are no longer a choice for you, like you're moving forward. And this is somebody that's like looking, because somebody went towards somebody else, and now they're mad looking at, well, why did I choose this person over him or her? They're moving away, and they've got everything coming in for them, and this person's over here mad at the world for what they chose. You, That's where free will comes into play. So this person clearly chose wrong when it comes to you. And now they're mad because you've got a better choice coming in. That's also what it is, too. Thank you, Spirit. So you've got, like, a better connection coming in, and somebody's mad because now you're going to have this love coming for you, and they can't do nothing about it. Somebody wanted someone to hold back from you? <laughs> This is a very dark energy that was trying to hold you back. And all you did was take that toxic, nasty, dark, dense energy and you transmitted it and you moved forward. Someone did everything in their power to keep you trapped and bound to them. But again, you're very strong. Like, you're, man, I'm picking up on somebody that's very powerful and strong and you were able to move through everything that was meant to destroy you. Yep, protected. Very protected. Boundaries are enforced now. And somebody is clearly underestimated who you are. I keep getting that. Tell you about commitment. Better commitments coming in, whether it's just a commitment with self, but there's definitely somebody coming towards you if that's what you want. Some of you guys could be talking to this person already, but there's a love offer coming your way and somebody didn't want you to have that. This person is trying to come towards you with heartfelt emotion too, trying to get you back into a commitment as well. Tell me more. Tell me more. Queen of Swords. So somebody is coming towards you in this heartfelt emotion because you are in this Queen of Swords energy where you are clearly cutting off people that are not lining up with who you are at this time. Like, you're all about high-vibing connections. And if somebody isn't going to be high-vibing like you are, you're going to cut them out. So now somebody wants to have a conversation with you. So somebody wants to reconcile, and somebody for sure thought that they celebrated this downfall a little bit too soon in your life here. That is the truth. Somebody is now figuring out the truth and the clarity here. And somebody is knows that someone's not stuck at a crossroads. So now somebody's feeling wounded because you picked yourself back up and you moved forward on the right path. And now somebody is looking back at everything that was done to you, said about you, sent your way. Like all you did was sign yourself up for some nasty things here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody here. Somebody here was committed. This could be, for some of you, this... This person, if they went towards someone new, like this could have been like these, this couple that tried to team up against you or there was a couple because we got a whole group here. So this could have been like a, a committed pair. I don't know why I said it like that, but oh well. Just like a committed couple that tried to come against you. Like this is someone that really tried to do a lot of spell work. So there could have been somebody that was paying somebody to do something here. But look, you're the earth angel. Hurting an earth angel never ends well for anybody. There are rules to this stuff. Somebody didn't think that you were who you said you were. So, somebody is now realizing, like, man, I they messed up for trying to come for you. So, you're still going towards your passionate new beginnings. Somebody really wanted you operating out of your old wounded energy here. And you transmuted that energy, I'm telling you. This is still good tower moments coming in for you in the commitment department, if that's what you're wanting here. Or just a commitment with self, too, I'm getting. But, man... Somebody's realizing like they created tower moments in their life for trying to mess with an earth angel's life is what I'm getting. So somebody is trying to heal something with you now. And somebody feels like if they get back into your good graces, like the karma will ease up on them. I keep getting that too. I've got water, Scorpio, earth, water, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, earth, air, Aries, earth, water, and air here. So commitment. Somebody wants a commitment with you. Some of you guys could have a new commitment coming in. And I, I keep getting there was like a committed couple trying to come for you, part of this group. Somebody wanted you operating out of this grief and this pain. Somebody could have done something to mess with your heart here. So just, you know what? Some of you guys may have this coming back to you. Be careful. Careful what you wish on people. Somebody wanted you stuck in low vibing habits. Some of you guys been through some things like I have. Somebody really wanted to focus on these bad habits and tried to throw you back into these bad habits. But these energies are the ones that have the bad habits. And somebody was trying to tempt you 
trying to pull you back into this unhealed version of who you are now. So these energies got some bad habits, but they wanted to focus and try to sweep dirt off of your porch. Make sure your own porch is clean before you try to come and sweep in someone else's dirt. So, and they unsettled because what they did didn't work. This is somebody that's mad. This is a multiple people that are pissed off and mad because they didn't win this battle here. You came back and won the war. And you've definitely changed your heart about somebody. So somebody's also mad that you don't look at them the same anymore either. So, because somebody thought they was going to tiptoe back into your life after they suck, they seek to destroy you. So this person has still got some kind of agenda where they think that if they get back into your good graces, like the karma will let up on them. But that is not how that works. And you don't want to take back this person because you'll take on their karma. Like you've got some really good chapters getting ready to be written in your life. And if you take this past person back, oh, it's going to push back your manifestations. Don't do that. Gemini. Gemini. Straw in the gold. Alchemist. Somebody didn't realize you could alchemize energy here. You're retrieving what was lost and you know how to create something out of nothing here. And that's why this person wants to come back because they know that you've got this generational wealth headed your way. So keep that in mind. Your spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming, connecting with your higher self. So somebody didn't expect for you to continue evolving and growing and you clearly have. So somebody knows that there's somebody wanted, I keep getting, so somebody wanted someone else to look at you like you weren't. Uh, you know a committed man or woman so somebody tried to steer someone else to to continue exploring the waters and and now somebody knows that you know that there's someone better out there too so something about this person knows that you're about to keep your options open like you're figuring out what you want for yourself and you're also like healing and growing and evolving yourself so you can be the best version for someone else if we don't love ourselves how can you love anybody make that make sense tell me more tell me more Use your head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let emotions control you. Uh, this is what this energy already tried to do. These groups, they wanted nothing more to like control your emotions. And they wanted you really trapped and bound in these negative emotions. Tell me more. I feel like this person's in these negative emotions here. Because this person's got some nasty energy headed their way. Anybody that was involved in this do. Something about networking. Getting back out there. Getting better groups around you. And this person networked with a lot of people. Somebody could be famous here. So it could be like a celebrities that are trying to come up against you. Man, you guys get you some business. That's what you need to do. Get you some business. Somebody didn't want you meeting new people. Somebody knows that you're about to meet better people. That's why they're trying to come in here for you. Tell me more. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold. Have a scarcity mindset. Emotional loss. Material loss. That's what this energy wanted you to focus on. Or these people that were involved. That's what they wanted you to focus on. These energies are about to be left out in the cold for coming for you. Drama. We're not going to be part of this circus. Bunch of clowns. So let these people be clowns. They try to cause all this drama. This whole situation's out of control. And this was definitely an unpredictable situation. Yeah, because they don't know who they came up against. Now you know, don't you? Uh-huh, you do. Children could be significant. So your own children could be involved in part of the slandering, this group. Your youthful spirit. So being in that childlike energy and continue moving forward and just loving who you are and doing that inner child healing. And there's these two hearts that are falling in love. Somebody didn't want you to fall in love with someone that you're meant to be with. Somebody didn't want you to have something here. I got a twin flame connection here. So, you know, twin flames are ultimately you. So the whole point of a twin flame connection is to fall back in love with self because you are your twin flame. So you could have met your twin or you haven't met your twin, but use your discernment. Don't let titles keep you stuck. I don't like how these titles are thrown around. It's like just another way to keep people stuck in toxicity here. On a pedestal, great admiration. So somebody didn't want you to be looked at in this ad ad admiring energy. Somebody wanted someone else to feel like you were out of their league or they were out of your league here. And somebody's Seek to destroy you because they knew that you were out of their league. And that's why they wanted to knock you down a peg. Miracles are unfolding. You've got blessings surrounding you. And luck is on your side here. You're a unicorn. One of a kind. Yeah, because you're rare. You're not like other people. Like, this group did not realize who they came up against. They're figuring out now. Some people have to learn the hard way. So, you're irreplaceable. And that's why this past energy is trying to come back here for you too. Because they know you're irreplaceable. 
collector of hearts, a heartbreaker, many love interests, not ready to settle down. That's what these group of people, this person trying to wiggle back into your life, they wanted you to look at as a heartbreaker, but that's who they are. They're the heartbreakers. Deep wisdom. So reading between the lines, be wise and pay attention, and you see the truth clearly. So something about this person's panicking because you're very wise and old soul energy, and you can see things for what it is, and it makes somebody nervous. And this is also about when this person comes towards you, paying attention. Magical gateway, go for it. You're on the right path and you've got wonderful new beginnings coming in for you. And somebody was materialistic, greedy, selfish. They wanted to paint you out in this light, but that's who they are. And this person's only coming back because you clearly have some really good things headed your way. And they want to try to get their greedy hands on you. No, thank you. Sacrifice. So somebody tried to sacrifice. Somebody... Somebody, this whole group of people, and it could be celebrities. I keep getting celebrities. So if you're posting things in a spotlight like I am, like this whole group that thought that they were above you because I guess they have a higher status and they just thought that they could like sacrifice the earth angel. Uh-uh. No sir, no ma'am. That's not how that works. So something about your royal bloodline, the royalties, something that is rightfully yours. Somebody knows that they got to give something up to win and they wanted to give you up. You're aligning with your priorities, and a lot of you guys had to give up your old self to step into new self here. And these are like some cheater, cheater pumpkin eaters trying to, you know, sidestep the step process of up the ascension ladder. That's not how that works. You guys, mm, 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 mm. So these are like some low-vibing energies that are don't clearly know how to, to ascend and grow like you do, so they want to try to take what's yours. That's not how that works. Sorry. Communication. So somebody wants to have a conversation now. Someone wants to clarify something with you now. Yeah, that's this person trying to come towards you because they clearly see you got some good things headed your way. Gemini. Too busy winning. Mm -hmm. We're too busy winning. Enjoying life. Loving our journey. Someone wanted to say that you were a karmic energy. Possessive. Dangerous. Toxic. Unhealthy. But that's how these energies are. They're the toxic ones. They're unhealthy. They have possessive energy. That's why this obsessive lover is trying to come back towards you. Continue remaining unfazed. Like you could care less what these people were saying, doing, sending behind your back. You could care less. This person wanted to say that you aren't nothing, that you think you're all this and you think you're all that, but that's how you feel about yourself. You guys aren't. Shh. That's why you want to destroy other people because you feel bad about yourselves. Tell me more. Looking you up, studying you, researching you, getting information about you. So you definitely got eyes that are observing you right now. Move in silence. Not everybody needs to know what you got going on. And these energies are moving in silence, acting like they ain't know what they did. We already know what you did. So sometimes we, we know things and we don't speak on it. We just let you be who you want to be and we just sit back and let karma handle its business. Tell me more. Uninterested. So somebody knows that you're uninterested. Somebody's trying to change your mind about that. Tell me more. Threatened. Somebody's intimidated by you. Bothered. This is somebody that's threatened by your beautiful light, so they tried to, to put it out. That, that's not how it works. This person's threatened by your success and what you have coming into your life, too. This person did everything in their power because they were threatened by you, so they wanted to like form a whole group of people to come up against you because they all threatened with each other. Tell me more. You're making it rain. Focused on your bag, getting in your money here. And somebody was so pressed about what was meant for you. So somebody could have like looked into your birth chart or knew that you had something headed in your life. And this person or these people that were involved wanted nothing more to, to take that from you. No. Tell me more. Now someone's trying to run away from their karma. No, that ain't going to work either. Somebody sees that you clearly get out of things that were meant to break you down. Like, And this is an energy that was okay when they were running away from you and causing all this chaos and now that they see you getting out of it and you're going towards your this beautiful journey of yours all they're trying to get back it's a happiness hater somebody that doesn't want to see you happy they're not happy with their own lives that's why they seek to destroy everybody else wanted you to be rejected wanted you to feel rejected doesn't like to be rejected children could be significant you could have grown up in environments where you were neglect and abuse and for some of you they got your own kids involved to try to come up with a plan to look, make you look at in this bad lighting of a neglectful, abusive parent here. Someone could actually work for the children's services here. Someone tried to create some kind of triangle effect in your in your life. 
whether it's love or all connections in your life, somebody really tried to, to get in the way of connections with you. Even if it's like, even if it's like your own children, for instance, like this is someone that really tried to, to get other people to, to jump on their bag, their bandwagon to come against you. And somebody's still dealing with someone else here too. Somebody is always saying that you're always partying, running around, but you know, proof is in the pudding with how you live your life. These energies for sure were celebrating your downfall and all you guys did was win some stupid prizes because you played stupid games. You guys are the ones always partying. There it is. Your light irritates the demons. Uh -huh. So that's why this group went so hard to try to take you out because you shine brightly and they wanted to take that from you. Uh -uh. Gemini. Gemini. Shifting our perspective. We're better off. We're happy. Clearing our headspace. There's like a new person that's looking at you in a good light now. Tell me more. And if this group of people, what I'm also getting, if this group of people try to come up against you, like some of these groups are looking at you in a different light now. Because it's like everybody wanted to shine a light on you and like observe you and look you up. And then some people have turned around in your favor now. Tell me more. Yeah, someone really tried to influence other people. Someone wanted to say that you have some kind of nasty attachments to you. And somebody clearly tried to send some kind of nasty attachments to you as well. But all it did was bounce off of us and go right back to you. So... Someone was mad that they couldn't control you, so they controlled how everybody else looked at you. And you definitely got eyes spying on you, getting information about you. Somebody trying to get somebody to bond with them again. So somebody's spying on you, and it's like, okay, so for somebody here, it's like this person's been spying on you from a distance here, and they've been really watching you. And it's like, this person has formed some kind of, like, Long distance bond with you, that's for somebody. Like somebody that's been watching you closely, um, for, especially for my ones posting things in the spotlight. This person has really, really been keeping a very close eye on you and they're still forming some kind of bond with you regardless of what was said here. Tell me more. Tell me more. Commitment. Somebody still use you as a commitment. And this past energy also is staring at you. They're trying to figure out how to pull you back into a commitment with them. Oh, so I'm telling you, somebody is trying to get rid of their karma in reverse. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to have their karma upright. That's dishing out karma. So somebody thinks by backtracking into your life that it's going to stop the karma. No. You have really good karma coming in. Don't take on this person's bad karma. They've got some bad karmic debt that they've got to pay out while you're reaping your good karma here. Wow, I knew I felt that. And somebody wanted someone else to run from you because somebody wanted you... To be looked at in this lustful light. And somebody ran right towards another connection where it was just lust is playing out. Because somebody's not happy with the choice that they made over you. And now they're wanting to try to come back and come for you. So, tell me more. So, somebody knows that some kind of time is running out. The cycle is closing out. And somebody feels like they're running out of time. And somebody's getting ready to come in here and confess something now to you could be a new person coming towards you to confess here and somebody's still trying to cling on to the old version of you first off and somebody is obsessively spying trying to hold on to you and somebody is now realizing that somebody done pushed their blessing away that's the first message and somebody is realizing that all this gossip and slander only pushed away their blessing that's kind of the same thing spirit um Somebody now knows that you are now pushing them away and they don't want to feel rejected. And somebody's trying to push away their karma. Tell me more. Continue healing, releasing, purifying, cleansing yourself. Somebody's trying to heal something with you now with these memories. Somebody wants to get you nostalgic, reminiscing on the good times that you had. But this is somebody that wants to try to confuse you. They want you to be uncertain and unclear about something. But this is somebody that already was part of a group that was already trying to paint you in a bad light. Somebody's trying to return. They see your opportunities. This is a very prideful, ego-driven, stubborn person that tried to paint you in these lightings. You do have pride for yourself, but you love yourself and you're creating boundaries now. This other person doesn't like that you are prideful and you love yourself. This is a group that threw a bunch of dirt on you and it just made you grow. Step into your growth. You, fight, you focused on yourself and you found your purpose. And somebody wanted someone to cloud their judgment about you. Somebody didn't want somebody to look at you in a good lighting here. 
So you've got some admirers here. Now, for some of you, this group of people I keep getting to, like you've got some admirers that are watching you that at first their judgment was cloudy about you, but now that they're sitting back and they're observing you more, they realize that they were under some kind of false illusions about you. This is like a distorted energy that didn't want you to be looked at in a good light here, but somebody's still got a spark for you. As somebody from your past is trying to figure out how to get the spark back up and running with you. So enforce these boundaries and continue moving forward and severing ties with these unhealthy connections that you have here. Gemini. Choice is the most powerful tool you have. Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several doors, bringing new experiences into your life. At any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. So make sure you're choosing wisely because the past does come back for us when we're getting ready to go towards better things. All the universe will test you. If something deep within you tells you that something is not quite right, trust it. If you are unhappy in your life, change something. It is entirely up to you. Stop making excuses. You're in control of your own life. So... Something doesn't feel right, even if new people coming towards you, if something doesn't feel right, trust that because we're all equipped with, I call it bullcrap meters. We're all equipped with them. So if something doesn't feel right about somebody, it's because it's not right. So, but this person feels like if they get back into your graces, it'll, they'll avoid, car, they'll avoid their karma, but that's not how that works. You'll take on this person's karma if you do so. Keep that in mind. All right, beautiful Gemini, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Light and love to you. See you guys Wednesday.